Hi guys, so for this video I'm using yarn in size 4 medium and a crochet hook in size 4.25 millimeters. So start by making a slip knot. Now for this stitch we need to chain multiples of uh, 10 plus 4 when you work on a straight line. When you work on a round we can just chain uh, multiples of 10 as I did here when I made this hat. But for the scarf I'll chain uh, 44. So now that I've chained 44 on the 401 on the fifth chain from a hook, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I'll make uh, 3 double crochet. I'll chain 8. Now I'll skip the next 9 chains, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And through this 10th chain, I'll make 3 double crochet. I'll chain 3, then through the same chain, I'll make 3 double crochet. Again, I'll chain 8. I'll skip the next nine chains, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and through this tenth chain I will make uh, three double crochet. Chain three, and through that same chain I'll make three double crochet. Chain 8. I'll skip the next 9 chains. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And through this 10th chain, I will make uh, 3 double crochet. And through that same chain, I'll make 3 double crochet. Again, I will chain 8. Then I'll skip the next 9 chains and through the last chain, which is our 10th chain, I'll make 3 double crochet. I will chain 1, then through the same chain, I'll make 1 double crochet. So this completes row 1. Now for row 2 I'll turn my work around then I'll chain 4. Now through that same 1 chain loop I'll make uh, 3 double crochet. I'll chain 4. Now through this next 3 chain loop I'll make 3 double crochet. I'll chain 3, then do the same 3 chain loop, I'll make 3 double crochet. I'll chain 4, through this next 3 chain loop, I'll make uh, 3 double crochet. I'll chain 3, then through the same 3 chain loop, I'll make 3 double crochet. I'll chain 4, 
For this next three chain loop, I'll make uh, three double crochet. I'll chain three, then through the same three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain four. Now through this last one chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain one, then through the same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. So this completes row two. Now for row three, I'll turn my work around, then I'll chain four. Now through the same one chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. I'll chain three. Then right here, two rows below. See, we have a four chain loop and an eight chain loop. Right there, two rows below. I'll make one single crochet. We lock these chains in like that. Now I'll chain three through this next three chain loop. Right here, through a shell, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. Then through the same three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. Now right here, two rows below. I'll make one single crochet. Chain three. Through this next shell, right here through the three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. Then through the same three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Now again, I'll chain three, two rows below right here, I'll make one single crochet, chain three, through this next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet, I'll chain three, then through the same three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Three. Now again, two rows below. I'll make one single crochet, chain three. Then, right here, through this one chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain one. Then through the same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Now for the pattern, we repeat rows one through three. So for row four, I'll turn my work around and I'll repeat row one. Just for this row so you can see how it goes. Now I'll chain four, then through that one chain loop I'll make uh, three double crochet. Chain four, I'll chain eight. Then right here through his next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. I'll chain three, then through the same three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Now I'll chain eight. Through this next shell, ready to the three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. I'll chain three, then through the same three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Again, now I'll chain eight. Through this next shell, right there through the three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three, then through that same three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain eight. Now, right here, through this one chain loop, at the end of the row, I'll make three double crochet. Chain 
chain one, then do it same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. So this completes row four. So for row four, we repeated row one. Now for row five, we repeat row two. So for row five, I'll turn my work around, then I'll chain four. Now right at red one chain loop, I'll make a three double crochet. Chain four. Now right here through his next three chain loop, I'll make uh, three double crochet. Chain three, then through that same three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain four. Through his next three chain loop, I'll make uh, three double crochet. Chain three, then through that same three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain four. Now through his next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. I'll chain three, then through that same three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain four. Now, right here through his last one chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain one, then through the same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. So this completes row five. So you see here for row five, we repeated row two. Now for row six, we repeat row three. So for row six, we'll turn our work around, then we repeat row three. So I'll chain four. Now right there through that one chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. I will chain three. Now right here, two rows below. Through this chain four and chain eight, I'll make one single crochet. Chain three. Through his next shell, right here through a three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three, then through that same three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three, again now, two rows below through his uh, loop through this uh, loop with chain four and chain eight, two rows below, I'll make one single crochet. I'll chain three. Through this next shell, ready to a three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. And through that same three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. Two rows below again, I'll make one single crochet, chain three, through this next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet, I'll chain three, then through that same three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet, chain three, and again two rows below, I'll make one single crochet. Chain three. Now through his last one chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain one, then through the same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. So, well, we saw that I made a lot of uh, things with this pattern, but I really like it. I tend to do that sometimes when I really um, like the pattern. So yeah, for the pattern we repeat rows 1 through 3. So we repeat rows 1 through 3 until our work reaches our desired length. And now, from the wrong side, I will join these two sides together. So, um, you see here we have this 4 chain loop. 
and then right here to this chain where I made the shelf and the previous row I insert my hook. Now we join these two sides together. So you see here through this chain where I made this first shell, then through this one chain loop at the corner, insert my hook, then insert my hook through this loop knot loop, then pull through. I'll chain one, and through the same chain I'll make one single crochet. Now, through these next nine chains, I'll make a slip stitch. One, we need to reach the next shell. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now, through the next chain, we really made this shell. And through his next three chain loops, see through that shell from the other side, I'll make one single crochet. So we repeat the same thing until we reach the end of this row. So through his next nine chains, I'll make a one slip stitch through each chain. Through his next chain and through his next shell, right there through a three chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. So we repeat this to the end of this row. Now through the same chain I'll make a slip stitch, chain one, then I'll cut this yarn.
Now we turn our work inside out. This is how the section where we joined looks. There are different ways you can join this uh, two ends, but I just chose this one for today. <coughs> Mainly because I have no idea where I left the yarn needle. But still it looks nice. So let's measure how long this infinity scarf is. Twenty uh, it's thirty nine inches long and it's ten inches wide. So this is all for today guys. I hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching.